Hey Aries, it's Chaos from Chaos of Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a end of June reading for March 19th all the way to the end of June. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am a new channel. I would really love to grow. Uh, my first month was amazing. So yes, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share, share, share to get more people to the channel, get more energies. And also please interact with the channel by liking and commenting at least so that I can get your energy so that more of my readings can resonate. Okay, so let's get a general message for Aries. Spirit, let me know the current energy for Aries, whatever message you have. I already saw the um, Tower and the Ten of Cups. Those didn't flip over or flip out. Okay, first off, we already have the Empress, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, the Two of Swords. At the bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. So this looks like an X. Oh, the Five of Swords. So this is somebody that is watching your ass. Somebody is stalking you. Look. This Ten of Cups wants to come out. So are y'all finna reconnect with an ex? Look, the retrograde is over Tuesday. So if you can make it until Tuesday, this might be worthwhile. Well, it is gonna be worthwhile because I already, well, the, um, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles was in front of the uh, Ten of Cups. Either way, you're going to get what you want out of this. So I see um, there was some fighting going on or some chaos. Hold on, let's see. Can you clarify this two of swords, please? See, the death already came out. Death, eight of swords, queen of pentacles. Yeah, you're on the energy... Um, you're moving on. It looks like you're going to pass a test. Even though the retrograde is going to be over, it looks like an ex is still on its way, on their way. And you ain't with the bullshit. Like, I see one ex here so far. I just see, I see a queen of, queen of pentacles and a knight of cups. So, this ain't even a solid offer. Definitely somebody from your past. Okay, I was looking at the Queen of Pentacles when the Ten of Wands and the Judgment came out. Strength is at the bottom of the deck. Page of Swords. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. Chariot. You're taking inventory. Communication is coming in soon and fast. This may have been a codependent relationship. With the uh, devil. I see the chariot and the devil. And the eight of wands. So there is definitely some communication coming in. The uh, nine of wands. Judgment. Ten of wands. The judgment in the Ten of Wands is clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Who is stuck in their head? Who is in this Two of Swords energy? So the Two of Swords is um, clarified by the Death card and the Eight of Swords. Someone is really... Someone is really in their head about this. 
Can I get clarification for the two of one, two of swords, please? Okay. The emperor landed on the moon in reverse. Okay, so we got this seven of cups in reverse. The seven of wands and the three of wands. You're standing your ground. Whatever this burden is, whatever. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. Okay. Yes, so whoever, whatever, you're, it looks like you're going to pass your test, okay? So whoever this ex is coming back, you're going to stand your ground. You're going to be guarded. You're not letting them in. You are not letting them in. You are not allowing them to confuse you any further. Yeah, you're ready to end this. And I see that once you end this, which you don't see coming... That's the marriage card at the bottom of the deck. So you have someone, a stable connection coming through. Temperance. So it's the uh, four of wands, temperance, the eight of pentacles, which is hard work, six of pentacles. So it's going to be like whoever's coming forward. Yeah, you're going to receive justice for this. But of course, that ex is still going to be in the background watching. We got the sun and the king of pentacles. Yeah, you're leaving somebody out in the cold and you're moving forward to obtain your ten of pentacles. You're definitely moving forward and letting some someone go. Everybody is going through this right now. At the, I'm noticing the common theme with a lot of readings is right now at the end of the retrograde, the exes are coming back. And at this point, everybody is hip to the, their bullshit and nobody's falling for it. Like we are really in a new age and a new time. These shifts are real. I don't know if you, I'm quite sure if you're watching tarot that you've experienced at least one shift. We've gone through several. Uh, we have gone through several. A major shift happened uh, May 20th, 21st. You might have you might have had a really weird, vivid dream the night of the 20th, the morning of the 21st. I know I had a crazy dream the morning of the 21st. That was a major shift. The old dirt, the old earth died. So... A lot of us are ascending into the 5D. Not just ascending, we have already ascended. So anybody that's still on a 3D vibration is getting left out in the cold. Like, we don't have time for it. Like, they're being left behind. You're going to pass this test. Spirit is with you. You are being guided. You're seeing certain situations for what they are and you're letting it go. Aries. Hermit. Yes, the hermit. That came out sideways. So usually when it's upright, that's someone going within. Whether they're, there's someone going within, seeking, seeking information from within, seeking information from their spirit guides really taking to t the time to understand what has transpired this came out sideways you're no longer in that you're moving out of that hermit energy in energy you're realize you've already made certain realizations you've made certain connections and pretty soon this this hermit's going to be in reverse meaning you've received the messages and you've understood the assignment so yeah pretty soon like you're 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 on your way you're moving past an x and you're moving into your uh ten of pentacles whether that like once once you release this x and you let them go 
things are going to start moving fast career wise let, whether whether you're trying to let go of somebody and focus on your career your career is going to be booming whether you're trying to release somebody and move forward to a new connection you're going to come on to that new now the, the temperance is there so i'm not saying as soon as you let go of whoever this is that you're going to automatically meet your your uh counterpart whoever your divine counterpart your divine counterpart is coming because this is divine timing. The divine counterpart is definitely on their way. I'm not saying it's going to happen immediately. The temperance is out here. You need to have patience. Now is the time to focus on yourself. Get your money right. Get yourself right. Get your space right. If you need to move, move. If you need to cut certain things off, cut certain things off, certain habits off, whatever. Now is the time. As soon as you liberate yourself from whatever X this is, you're going to know exactly what, you, what your next steps are. You're not going to be confused as to what you're supposed to do next. It, everything is just going to go. You're going to go through the motions. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of like muscle memory. You're like when when you keep working out and doing certain exercises you have muscle memory you go right back into those like as soon as you let this go is your your spirit your body whatever is going to take over and you're going to move forward and you're going to know exactly what you need to do and everything's going to line up okay everything is going to line up you have a lot of blessings on the way. Now's the time to rest. Seek inner guidance. Listen to yourself. Quiet yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition. Don't accept this offer. They're going to come. And you're not going to accept it. Do not accept that offer. You are definitely being tested. It's sink or swim time right now. It is sink or swim. They're in, your ex, they're going to come in heavy. They're going to come in talking about balance. They're going to talk about soulmates. Might even come in with a passionate offer. This is what you need to remember. This is the, the energy that they left you in before. All of this is up front. All of this looks nice and sounds nice but this is behind everything this is what you need to remember the energy that they left you in you need to start piecing things together making realizations put piecing things together now you're probably thinking back and really seeing shit for what it was that that ex person's false mass is falling. They look, it's a lot of exes that are coming back that have several false masks, and they've been doing their due diligence, doing their work behind the scenes. A lot of these 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 exes are they're I wouldn't say they're divine partners. They're following trends, so they they they're following the hype of doing rituals, spell work, whatever. They're following the trend. They're following the trend, knowing that this is the right direction, but they're not elevating themselves to move into that direction. So at the end of the day, it they still fall on a trend. It's not, it's not the real deal. They're doing work that they have no business doing because it's not the real deal. They're not putting in all the behind the scenes work they're not studying to understand what they're doing. A lot of people are doing shit they have no business doing right now. A lot of people are chasing a fad as far as the spirituality goes. They're doing love spells. They're doing hexes. They're trying to block people's money because they're jealous, hateful, whatever. They don't want to see the next person come up. They don't want to see their ex come up. A lot of these exes are coming back because they see that you are on your glow up 
and they want to disrupt that if they don't disrupt if they're not trying to disrupt it they're first trying to ride the coattail so they can take what they need from that to get their own clout and then they're gonna fuck you at the end okay it ain't gonna be the good type of fuck either it's gonna be the bad type of fuck that's gonna have your angels and your ancestors in an uproar and heads will be rolling okay so that is your reading aries it i really hope this resonates with you i hope it makes a lot of sense um my goal here at the end of the day is to motivate inspire give advice and direct people in the right in the right way okay i'm trying to help if not avoid certain issues and tower moments help guide you through those tower moments because at the end of the day you can't really avoid a tower you have to go through it not all towers are bad some towers they're gonna seem like they are world crushing but once you make it through you're gonna realize damn i needed that i needed that if i would not have went through that tower i would probably be in a very negative space right now I would be in a situation that I wouldn't know how to get out of. You got this. I already see that you're going to pass your test. You're going to ace it with flying colors. All right. That was your reading, Aries. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what resonated with you. Let me know how things go. Tuesday is the end of the retrograde. Let me know in the comments how things went. Let me know if you if you made it. I want to know. I want to know if you made it. I want to know that everybody is good. Everybody got the lessons they were supposed to learn, took what they needed to take from that, and are moving through gracefully and really on that glow up. Really on really receiving the abundance and all the gifts that spirit is giving us right now a lot of people are being granted gifts a lot of people the underdogs the super caring people who have always been shitted on now is our time this is the time of the underdogs we are rising the narcissists the karmic partners the karmic friends whoever whoever was acting in that karmic energy they are receiving their bad karma karma is a balancing act they're receiving whatever bad karma they're receiving for what they did to you that good karma has to go somewhere you they forfeited their good karma so their good karma is going to go to you stay light listen to your intuition Trust yourself because you are right. No matter what anybody says, you are not crazy. You are right. You know what you know what the fuck is happening. You know what the fuck is going on. Okay? Your intuition is screaming at you for a reason. You are not crazy, okay? They will make you think that you're crazy because that is called gaslighting. They are gaslighting you. They are trying to uh deflect okay you got this all right love you aries see you next time